Hi friends, we are doing a haul video today. It is part two of the haul that I put up last week. I have not been just getting this stuff all at once. It's stuff that I have gotten and that I've kind of tried and tested out. I always like to do reviews before I just go, this is what I got, because I want to make sure that I tell you guys whether or not something is good. So let's get into the haul video. But if you are new to my channel, I wanna say a welcome to you. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope that you do decide to subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell. And if everybody wouldn't mind giving this video a thumbs up, it does help me out so much on my channel. So let's get into the items that I have because I have a bunch, you guys. And we're gonna get into that right now. Now, I have been testing out quite a bit of higher end and makeup so as I show you a few things that are higher end don't think that I'm kicking it over to high end because honestly you guys when I do high end I want to see about the quality but I really want to see whether or not I can dupe it for you so I'm going to show you a few high end things first this is from Nabla then we're going to get into our drugstore because we love our drugstore this is from Nabla they came out with some bronzers and I love Nabla's highlighters and they came out with these bronzers and I love the packaging on these they're so pretty they they have the the really beautiful rose gold accent on there kind of brassy rose gold and then they have the imprint on them and this is a beautiful bronzer when you look at it and see it so dark in there you think whoa that's going to go on my skin it's going to be super dark it's not as you can see right there it's barely you know just giving a very beautiful warm glow i loved the tone of it too i have a hard time with orangey tones i do have it on as my bronzer today bronzing up my forehead and all over my face this is a beautiful, beautiful bronzer. And the formula is not super soft. So I like that because you're not going to get too much on at once. And that's kind of what drew me to it. And these pans last forever. I've had the highlight and the highlight, I haven't even gotten the name off of it yet. And I use it like crazy. So this is really great. These are the new puffs that they came out with. Remind you of somebody else that came out with puffs last year. Yes, they. I think that they were trying to kind of go along that line now these are more along the lines they say of scrubbers but this is a soft feels like a cotton microfiber to me and so I will just kind of dab and kind of do a little bit of you know oil uh, blotting if it, as you were um, but it comes your makeup doesn't come off but the oils come off and that's what I really like about these you can use these as scrubbies I just use a microfiber cloth but I've really been enjoying these now I'm sure that you could do powder with them I'm sure that you could you know set anything with them you could probably even do cream products with them I haven't tried that but the powder is good for it so I've been loving those and they weren't very much for two of them two of them comes in a pack so wanted to make sure I told you about that also, I've had this for a while, but I haven't talked about it. This is from Maybelline. This is their glass spray for skin. Gives you a glowy, dewy look. I haven't and shown this on camera, so I'm going to just kind of give a little spray here. That was a spit at me, which is makes me crazy. I don't like spitting things. So if you're going to get it, I don't mind the product. Like you can kind of see that it made me a little bit glowy, a little bit dewy. The product's pretty good, um, but I think that this, the pump dispenser really sucks on it, just so you guys know that. And then along the same lines of that, I got from Catrice the Illuminating Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. It does have particles that settle into the bottom that I always see. This sprayer is a little bit nicer. So it's a little bit finer than the Maybelline one, but it does come out a lot, but I like the product in here better. I like the luminosity that it gives the skin. I feel like it really does give a very dewy, glowy look to the skin. And I really am liking this one. Just make sure you hold it a ways away and then let the droplets kind of come to you. And then from ColourPop, I did try their lip oil formula. Now, if you like lip oils, these are going to be for you because that's really basically what they are. There is no tint in them whatsoever. This one, um, as you can see in the tube, looks very lilac-y. It's clear. Same thing with this one. This one is kind of nude in the tube and it is pretty much clear as well. So you're not going to get any sort of a tint. It's more of a treatment. Now, I don't notice the fragrance on it. It kind of might have a little bit of a minty fragrance to it, but I don't notice it that much. This um, is a good lip oil as far as a lip treatment. Don't expect it to stay on very long because even as you're talking, it doesn't stay on very long. But if you like lip oils, go ahead and try these because they're a nice formula of a lip oil. I also want to mention the Estee Lauder Double Wear Light that I got. I have it on today. 
it takes two coats to really get me to where I like the coverage of it. But this is so good, you guys. This is a really good color for me. It's a great match. It is very luminous. It, it does not make me feel like I'm super matte. It is a lighter weight foundation than the double wear. So I do like that about it as well. Its formula on there is really pretty. It's very creamy. It's very light. It covers very well. So you get a medium coverage. And then I go in with a second coat just in the areas that I have really bad scarring. And it just covers like a dream. Sets down fairly well. I will say, though, that I need a setting spray or a powder with this. But I and love the way that it wears through the day. It is very long wearing. And I get about 12 hours out of it before I notice anything coming off or breaking apart. So I'm really enjoying this very much. It's a really beautiful uh, foundation for a more mature woman. Pixie sent me over a gorgeous package of their product and they sent over this Sheer Sensations Glow Palette, which is so pretty. I have all three of these right here as my highlighter today on my cheeks. It's beautiful. Those highlighters are beautiful. Now, these blush colors right here, these are the two that I have gone into because the other ones were just a little bit too neutral for me, but I really like these two right here. I really like the formula. The formula is very nice and it's very soft. Um, the nice thing about it is that it doesn't go on so stark that, um, you know, with the blush, sometimes if it's too buttery, if it's too soft, you go in and you're just getting blush all of a sudden and then you're trying to blend it out. It's not like that. It's kind of a really sweet spot in there so i really do like that and then they sent over one of their endless shade sticks but this is kind of a taupey color um kind of a um, gray brown color which i think is so great i've loved working with this these are really cool because you can smudge these out and you get a really beautiful color it just mixed with what was on my hand but you can smudge them out with your finger and just do a one and done if you want to so if you haven't tried these shade sticks they're really good and then i was really impressed with their mascara. This is not a waterproof formula, but it does stay on me for a good 10 hours. And I don't put it on my bottom lash line because everything smears on me on my bottom lash line. With, with hot flashes, everything smears. I like the wand. It is a little bit tapered, so I do like that I can get in there and get every single hair um, down there in my inner corners. And it just built up really pretty. And so uh, I could get a really nice, beautiful lash out of it with two coats. I love that it was dark. It's a really pigmented black, which I really like about it. So yeah, I can tell you that I did like that. And then I picked up a MAC um, lip gloss or Dazzle. I think it's a lip glass, lip glass, not a lip gloss, a MAC lip glass. And this is the most beautiful, just sheer wash of pretty light to your skin. It is almost like a highlighter for your lips. And it's so pretty. This one is Oyster Girl really really beautiful it's one of those ones that when you get it on you cannot believe the shine on it it is just so pretty i kind of have a neutral lip on today but this makes my lips so juicy and so plump and i just absolutely love it so oyster girl is a hit for me from mac really loved that one something that i'm in love with and i am so late to this train you guys is the buxom primer infused um wanderlust blushes i love this you guys and i'm trying to see what the color of this one is it's ibiza or i i i can't even say it i b i z a <laughs> this is really pigmented this is a really bright blush but i love that it's so pink um you don't have to use a lot and you can really just buff it out and these babies stay all day that primer in there that is going to stay all day and it is really really beautiful so if you've been thinking about these but you've been kind of on the fence i can give them a thumbs up i'm going to be looking for a dupe for these for sure i know that elf has their primer infused blush but the formula doesn't quite feel the same this feels a little bit believe it or not this isn't quite as creamy as the elf one but still, these stick a lot longer than the e.l.f. one does. So I'm going to be looking for a dupe for that for you guys, for sure. But these are good. A couple things that I got from ColourPop that I'm not really crazy about. This is their Jelly Much Shadow. This is just kind of messy. It's not that it's not a good formula or anything. It's just kind of messy to work with. I wish that they had a better delivery system, like a tube or something. I might like it better. So you can see right there, look how pretty it is as far as the shine goes. Doesn't have any... Um, sort of 
a little flecks of glitter in it or anything like that it's a really beautiful shine i think this would make a gorgeous gorgeous lid color or it would make a beautiful highlight if you wanted to use it that way i just wish that the delivery system on it was a little bit different this is one of their new cream pot shadows and this reminds me a lot of the mac um, painterly paint pot that one does I'm not one that usually uses that as a base or anything for my eyes because I have one that I love from Anastasia, but it's a good formula. I would just say that if you're going to work with it, work with it quickly because it does dry down. I can even feel it drying down right now, almost like a liquid lipstick that dries down quickly. So just make sure that you work with it a little quicker. Um, it wasn't my favorite thing, but I did like it. I did a lot of ColourPop. Apparently, this is one of their just a tint sticks. This is um, just basically a balm is what they're looking for just a little swatch 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 just a little swatch of color there but that one is pretty intense but if you like balm and you like to have the color without having you know a lipstick or a matte or anything these are really pretty good and you don't need very much so you can just put a little bit of color on there and then you have a really pretty wash of color so i do like them i wasn't crazy about this bright bright pink but if i mix it with a nude i really love it so i like the formula on it extremely hydrating and extremely balm like i really think that you will like those and then lastly for today is an essence blush now my friend mandy lee has been talking about these blushes and how good they are for such a long time and she's right they're so pigmented and they're so pretty but they're not um so high pigmented that you're not going to be able to blend them out and look at oh my gosh you guys they're so beautiful this is what i've got on today and i just think that it's one of those ones that just gives the most gorgeous flush of color it's just so pretty so i can really recommend those they have a few different colors one more thing that i got at the same time i got that blush is the essence contouring uh, palette and it has on one side it has the light color and then on this side it has the color that's supposed to be the contouring now i don't find that i like this for contouring because i like my contour to be a little bit more muddy and this is quite um a bit more on the tan side but this is a beautiful beautiful um bronzing color i just think it's so pretty it's one of those ones that just can do my skin perfectly because there's not too much orange in there look at that bronze isn't it pretty i just really am loving that really nice formula as well now if you're somebody that needs a really light color bronzer you know swirl these two together you've got it and i have done that on many occasions when i'm just wanting something just a little bit of bronze to pick up my the life of my makeup a little bit it is really pretty so i can say yes to that as well and I think that that is it for today. I'm not gonna go any further. I do have a few more things that I've picked up through the month, but these videos can get so long. So I want to just kind of digest what I've given you so far. Thank you for spending a little bit of your time with me. I always do appreciate that more than you know. I hope that everybody is doing well. Stay safe, stay sanitized, stay healthy, and I will catch you all in my very next video. Love you, bye-bye.